How rude. Touch a button on my phone and the damn thing shuts off. Okay, bear with me. I have it apart. I didn't think you wanted to see the insides. I took these guys off. It's the water inlet valves. This one had three of them. There's a double. Comes in the same way. I don't know why there's two. Two on one. But anyways, it's those little guys right there that have copper in them. It had a nice circuit board. It's got some nice extruded aluminum in it. I just got to cut these wires off yet, and then I'll separate the uh, rest of it. That's the control panel. <clears throat> nice wiring harness. I don't know how much you can see of it, but all of that is what's on that machine. That's not too shabby. Here's the other little pump. Same as that one. That's just the water inlet controls. This is off of a over the stove. Those range hoods. This runs the fan. It's got a nice big chunk of copper winding in it too. Anyways, washing machine. That was the pump for the water pump on the bottom. Nice thing of gold. Looks like I just jumped over the rainbow. And then this guy, of course. And some more little wires that were in the back of it. So anyways, that's... I guess this is part two of that video. So that's what you get out of those guys. Now, I think it maybe took me 20 minutes to flip her on her side. <coughs> take what I wanted out of it and then put it over there. And she's ready to go with my shred pile. Blowing so hard now I got to get at this guy these are the old old timers they have the nice aluminum coils in them plus a copper rad as you can see the little copper dewies on the side it's right behind it now I've never taken one of these pumps apart also it's got a nice copper motor on that fan there's some nice copper on here copper tubing some copper wire never taken one of these apart. I think it's the first time for everything. <clears throat> Not that difficult, I guess. Anybody want a typewriter? That thing weighs a ton. <laughs> Heavy old bugger. Actually, I think that might be cast. It still work? No, it won't slide back. This might be cast. Yeah, check it. Some of it might be stainless. Never have to bag it. In. Always keep one on the side of the truck. Microwaves. No steel. Yeah, that is cast aluminum. Steel, steel. Yeah, it might be stainless trim. I don't know if that's. What are you attracted to? Oh, right there, okay. So that whole piece. But this front piece, unless it's plastic, it's cast aluminum. I know all that's plastic. Actually, that might be cast too. Look at this steel little door. Let's see, it don't stick no more. Steel, plastic. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure that one out. Always return the magnets. I lose them in the scrap yard. A piece of scrap coming out of the truck might overlap and snag it. That I got hundreds. And these little guys. Cast aluminum motors. Yeah, chances of that being copper or I don't know, 30% maybe. Nice little brass nugget. Do undo four screws. All that brass comes out. Another little electric motor on there. You can do what uh, Canadian Scrapper says she does. She just freezes them and then hits them with a hammer. I find if they don't come apart with a hammer, throw them in the wood stove. Cook them. Either way. Yeah, that says stainless steel. I bet you it's not. If it is, it's sticky stainless. Oh, it is stainless. It's not even sticky. Wow, wow, wow. There's a bonus. Get 
about 30 cents a pound. Woohoo! It's almost not worth it. But it takes a couple screws and it comes off. And I guess I can clean all the wire out of it too because the whole thing is the door. Not the machine. And see if it's got any stainless on it. Sometimes the uh, main spinner. Nope, main spinner's plastic. You can see him on the ground. He's broken off already. So he's not. Just the door. Okay. Microwave, one of my favorites. You all know that. This one here's already been, looks like the guy tried to dissect it. Or tried to fix it or something, but he didn't take anything out of it, so. Yeah, even a little. That means the transformer's still in it. It's, yeah, ooh, yeah, he, he even had the, the button for the door taped up. Holy shit. Tried to get all his money out of that one. Okay, another one, same type of motor, but he's got one extra one. Did you not have that? Let me take a better look. Oh, you got the one I like. See what that is? Give me a sec. Oh, this phone's making me do everything left-handed. Come on, you bugger. Oh. I need something a little stronger. What'd I do with you? That's another scrapper's best friend. See? Everybody knows what a wrecking bar is or a crowbar or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm going to put you in a different hand. Hopefully it don't shut you off. right off. Just like that. See that? More pot of gold. <laughs> Comes right apart. Get that steel out. Just like that. And it's a two-handed job, but you know what I, where I'm going with it. That's the same as electric motors. It's got the steel little plates. It's only shred. You can see how plated it is about a million plates in there just for that little bit but that ends up just like that it's the same thing see pot of gold that's why i like certain dishwashers that runs that pump this one here we got this little guy to run a pump so he's a younger model that means he'll be probably aluminum winding but hey look at all that cast aluminum on the outside a little piece of brass not much, but still, four screws that come right out. Same with that, four screws come right out. You gotta like it. Another little tip, when you're working on these things and you're trying to get anything out of the inside, just undo these stupid springs, otherwise the door slams shut on you. You get your hand caught in there. That sucks. And it hurts. They're very simple. Tension on the door. Well, that one is going to require more work. This one here, I want to take a look at the side of it. Yeah, your old steel locking door. That's always nice because then you load these up. No, nope, no stainless in that one either. Just a little plastic whirly bird. See, it is a really cheap model. And you lock them shut again. That way you can keep everything in there or load it right up with all your shred. Well, I do. Load it up with shred. Okay, I see he opened up on me. Okay, that's my next challenge. Take these guys apart. I don't know if it's too windy out here for you to listen to that, but that's what I'm going to work on. Wife and I are still in regards to this cast tub. I like to use it as a raised bed guard. It's deep enough, about the depth of my arm. We do potatoes in there. We don't do it to live off it, we just do it for a treat. Vegetables in the garden up back, we do for a little to eat. You know, put them in the freezer. So, anyways. 
yeah enjoy the sunshine if you got it i do boom sky's clearing up but i think it's too windy and my hands getting cold from holding you out here and i'm not gonna put you on a tripod because i know how my phone acts up there's another one over there the humidifier with the nice aluminum i've got another one over here i do believe yeah there it is he's got the aluminum coils in him too you can see the mess i have to do yet Wash machine. I'm gonna guess he's got a copper motor in him. Hopefully, a couple air conditioners in there. Yeah, that's from a while ago. There's actually one there. That one works like a charm. I had it given to me. It's a great big window shaker. I think it's 12,000 BTU. And I think we're gonna advertise it this spring. Hey, you give me 50 bucks, you can have it. You know, you got good air conditioning in the house. See, this one's got the aluminum in it too and i don't know how well you can see in there but there's a, there's a radiator in there too plus a nice motor on that and like i said i'm going to attempt to i'm going to cut one anyways see how much of a pain in the ass it is if it's not bad i'll cut them all i know there's copper in them i just don't like dealing with that oil this guy forgot to dump in the uh been at work but I think I might strip the steel off it yet and then dump the rest in the bin at work so there you go that's part two of oops it shut off on me so we'll get them loaded up and we'll go from there we'll talk at you later have a nice day enjoy the sunshine